nothing to say just riding a bike that's all we're doing just going to do loads of videos now just riding the bike that's what's, what it's about really i'm not going to stop talking don't want to upset people Listen to that free wheel, lovely. Straight across P Raw. Just keep pedalling. Yeah, that's most unusual. It's a wagon. Some of that, some of that, and some of that. The sun's pretty warm there. We like that. It's so easy to get used to stuff, right? Like, it's nice to be comfortable with the old batter clava around the old chops. Uh, you know, as long as your core's warm, you want to be comfortable, don't you, right? Uh, but what I'm saying is it's nice to have like oh man that's a fly tip and a half well we're not gonna go and look at it we can see it clearly from here my finger man loads of crap that's bad isn't it seriously bad you know like people have you know, in good faith, like perhaps paid, paid some contractors or some, well they're not are they, they're just tossers, but to get rid of their rubbish and then they just come and dump it, dump it in the countryside, you know. Or it's just like, say, general public got rid of a load of crap. They certainly have, haven't they? Oh man, that really annoys me. As I said before, like you imagine, like you know, it's like you imagine a farmer. You, you come down there in the in the morning or whenever, like you know, uh, find all that shit. What's he supposed to do with it? I suppose you ring up the environmental or whatever, but what a waste of time, really. I don't know. I guess it doesn't happen that often. I mean, I don't know. If I was a farm, I'd probably just like hoof it in the. Well, I don't know. Why should you? Why should he fucking do it? If you've got a digger or something, just hoof it in the in there and just like burn it or something. Can't do that, P roll. I don't know. It would really piss me off though. But yeah, as we're saying, it's nice to have the the air, like the wind, going on. Like you know, we love it. These lean gains, look. See these cheekbones? That's what happens, see? Fucking jam, high carb. Lean as fuck. See these gates? See those gates? Now, granted it's uh, a steel gate, right? This is step down from the wooden gates. We like those old wooden gates, like there's one around here I passed the other day going up. I think it was Drake or something, covered in ivy. That's spot on, and there's some nice ones over on Exmoor, which we'll try and capture at some point. But these old, old steelies are quite nice. We like those with the rust going on. Pretty good. So, a little bit of red on something. But I like that. Man, I love cycling out here. Well, I mean, I love cycling on my bike. All kinds of places, but different roads. I mean, no, not roads. I mean, I like to get on the lanes, you know, because like this, there is literally not much traffic. Sunday, you're going to get a few cars and that now, and people are having some fun. But uh, P. Raw likes to get away from it. And uh, yeah, as I was going to say, man, we, we keep digressing, but that's all good. That's that's me. That's what I'm like. Like out here on a summer's summer's evening, 
or in the middle of the night. I tell you what, like, I hope to do some, some night rides this year. I don't plan on doing loads. I mean, if I do loads, I do loads, but I want to get out a little bit more than I did last year. Um, check out that like, little bit of marshland. We love it. With Rusty Gate. Uh, like to, to be out on like say the Somerset levels now, right? Or if you're up on the Mendips or whatever, and it's like um, you know, it's like one one a.m. in the morning or something, and you're comfortable, you're feeling good. It's a nice night. There's no wind. But to make the decision, like to go from say here all the way over to Exmoor, you know, you're over there. In, Funniest thing, the, the two weird things about riding all night is one, you, you miss some sleep, even if you do kip it somewhere and get a couple hours, you know, whether you're doing an all dax and it's in a village hall or you're grabbing some kit with your emergency bivy in a churchyard or wherever, it's weird, it doesn't really happen, you know. You're getting rest, but you're not really getting sleep as such, you know. And then the other weird thing with that is, I've never gotten used to it when you start hearing the dawn chorus, right? And it starts to get light. There's a, there's a fine moment between it actually being dark until it's total light, you know, that, that twilight kind of thing. I don't like it because you know like that, that experience, that, that nighttime kind of night crawler, night rider adventure, if, if you want to call it that, right? Whatever it means to you. That peace is, is it's over pretty much. It's about to get destroyed by people waking up and cars and just like just like noise, right? Like you know when you stood on a again, like why why would you be out? But if you've been out on a bike, then you know what I'm doing, then you'll know. But standing on a motorway bridge, like in the middle of the, the middle of the night, well obviously after you know after midnight, early hours of the morning. And you, and you capture it at a moment where there's no traffic, right? Then, when there is, but how the difference is that the noise, right? Like I said the other day about like riding a bike, it's like when you stop and just like taking a view or something, how much noise the actual bike's making. Oh man, cycling means so much to me. Reasons I do it. I don't know if I want to talk about that really. Maybe one day. It's all sound the old head, I'll tell you that much. But yeah. Check it out. Headwind on the way home, that's alright. I can accept that. camera out, not even going to make a video. Maybe I'm addicted. Tell me down below, am I addicted to YouTube? Back on facey though. Back on facey for a little while. I'm not getting, I'm not taking it too serious though. Check in the bar. Look at me, look, fit, filming myself on my bike on a Sunday and then we're going to put it on in and out. Good though. See this tree? I'm going to look at this tree over here. I don't know why. There's lots of trees around here, but this tree stands out and I like it. Lean bean. Now that tree right there. See? It's got them tree features and I like it. stands out. There's there not be no wind noise on here. But, you know, but all that all that at one time was covered in trees, you know. And how amazing that would have looked. Your call, P roll. You decide when you end the ride. I 
certainly do. I'll get in this on. I'm gonna get all spiritual, are we? I don't know. What am I searching for? I don't know, but I'm pushing forward with just doing what I'm doing. We are more than what we are led to believe. You have power within you to make different choices in your life. Call it choices in the moment, whatever you decide to do. But things can catch up with people, so you've got to take action now. Because again, no one's going to come and save you. Your life's 100% your responsibility, all right? Motivation, inspiration there for you people. Get out on a bike. If you can't get out on a bike because you've got family, I guess depending on how old your kids are or whatever, then perhaps try and get them interested in bicycles or something. You don't even have to come out on, on the road like me, right? Uh, find out where like a local perhaps park is or, you know, somewhere where like, they allow perhaps cycling, cycle paths. I mean, most larger larger towns now or, or even not, right, uh, have got some sort of perhaps infrastructure with uh, the Sustrans, some, some of those routes are not the best, so I've, I've seen them in town. or they might be, uh, you know, like near Bristol, maybe, there's like a strawberry line, there's places you can go. You don't have to go out and go crazy, go out in normal clothes, as long as you're wrapped up on the bike and just get outside and breathe the air, alright? I'm going to be honest, right, I've seen some people who I haven't seen for a while on Facebook since I've been back on there and this isn't nasty but some of them look a little bit overweight all right it's not because they're riding bikes and eating fruit and eating healthy is it it's because they're dr drinking beer and eating high fat foods and not getting enough exercise it is isn't it someone told me different all right um i find it sad to see i really do find it sad to see so Get off your asses, people, and try and do something about it, you know? Um. It's not just about the weight as well. Being outside, moving in the air, it kind of lets you know, it makes you feel alive, all right? Because you are alive, and... You're supposed to move. You're supposed to move. You're not supposed to sit around and do nothing. Drive a car every day if you want. Drive a car 100 miles every day. It doesn't matter, does it really? As far as like, as long as you're getting some, some exercise or something. I mean, exercise sounds low, like, it sounds so shit and mundane, like a chore, doesn't it? Call it fun. Go and have some fun. Go and treat it as exercise. Like, people say, oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to exercise or train. I mean, really? I'm not doing anything now. I'm just kind of on a, on a bicycle turning pedals. I'm riding a bike. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm going to keep doing. Sometimes it's difficult. You don't know what to say. You repeat yourself. You will repeat yourself. A lot of other people are repeating yourself. You'll be in different, different moments, different environments, different elements. I'll be on my bike. I'll be walking. I don't know. I have done a few like little vlogs in the car and van before, but uh, the message is simple, isn't it? You're right. The only reason I'm on social media is because I'm just trying to do something to help people. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bother. You know, I'd be like logged into Facebook, but not logged on. Um, putting pointless posts up and things. Like, kind of pretty much every post I put up is to do with like food or nutrition or fitness or something, all right? You can't knock a person for trying to help people, can you? It's, 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 if people get upset by things that you say or they see posts and they don't want to like it, or what other friends might think because they've seen that you like a, a, a nutrition post or a fitness post or a vegan post or whatever, right? As long as you've seen that post, that doesn't worry me. I don't take offence. Fuck, man. No way. No way. So, not in a friends. I'm here to try and do the best 
like gonna make people healthy. Because apart from like say people on YouTube, I don't see other people on this planet doing a whole lot else, do you? Because people are getting pretty pretty sick, aren't they? Alright. And you've got companies like Monsanto with genetically modified food and all that sort of stuff going on. Because we need more food to feed more people and the grain used to feed cattle is oh, that's something else I could turn into another just looking at the clouds. Ride a bike, put some jam on it. <laughs> 